Hello everyone, welcome to the Friday Review. And today I'm gonna to do my review on the Conrove DV089 Mini um, Security Cam. Um, this is a small um, camera that is small enough to hide in certain places where people won't notice. Um, this is really what that is designed for is designed for people that um, want to hide a camera but it's hard to hide a camera because of how big they are um, so they Combro have has this um, mostly because to use just like that because it's small enough the video quality isn't too terrible bad but it is kind of bad for 2016 um, but this is a, it also has a motion sensor on it, so you can use this as two types of cameras. Um, you can use it as a camera that just stays on all the time, and then at the end of the day, you can turn it off. Um, or you can have it where you have it turned on motion, and it records only when it detects motion. Which it can, it can detect motion up to 24 feet away, so that's pretty nice. Um, there is no photo taking mode. Um, that is something that you kind of see in almost all of the cameras now, but not in this one. Um, the motion detect angle is 90 degrees, so for 90 degrees it detects anything within a full 90 degrees of the sensor. So that's pretty nice. It has a built-in um, lithium-ion battery. Um, they say it has a standby time of seven four days fully charged. Um, I can get roughly about seven days um, of standby time out of the camera um, when it's recording constantly. Um, I get it like maybe four or five hours um, if it's sitting and recording for like that long. So the the battery does last um, a long time. Um, I do, um, it does charge by a um, mini USB, um, so make sure you keep that cable around. I'm not sure why it's not micro, it would be nice if it was micro, it would be more universal, but I guess you can't have all that. Um, so let's take a look around the device. Um, at the front of the device you have your... Um, camera itself it is actually a VGA camera so like I said the video quality isn't really good um, your motion sensor and then on this side you got a power button um, on this side on the top of the device we have your record button that you can push and hold to start recording and then over here there's like two vent holes this works as a microphone and it's the indicator lights for um, the status of the camera. On the side we have a mode button which would switch it to standard mode where it just sits and records. Um, and then if you push it, it will go into motion mode where if it detects motion, it will record and then turn off. Um, turn and stop recording. And if it detects another motion, it doesn't. A micro um, SD card slot. Um, this micro SD card slot can hold up to 32 gigs, um, and they recommend having a class 10 um, SD card in it, since it's going to be constantly recording and writing to the SD card. Um, and then on the bottom of the, of the camera, we do have your um, mini USB. Um, the camera comes with a bunch of different mounts. Uh, this is the mount that I use the most with this camera. Um, you can latch it on to something or you can clip it on to something and different things to have it. Um, you can even clip this if you really wanted to. You could, you could technically use this as a body cam um, if you really wanted to. The quality isn't good, but it's still the idea is to have a camera with you that would record. Um, and then you have like a little loop that you can um, put like a lanyard on or tie it to something where it hangs and so on. 
So this has a bunch of different mount options. Um, so that is really nice. Uh, the camera, the quality, build quality of the um, camera is all plastic, which was kind of a disappointment, um, especially in the mounting, the mounting um, accessories that they give you. They're kind of really, really cheap. Um, like um, some are hard to put on and you think you're gonna break them because the plastic feels so cheap. Um, but I have not done that, but it does feel like at one time it will break. Um, so I'm going to talk about the, the video quality it is 720 by 480, 25 frames a second. Um, so technically it's a 480, um, 480 definition. It works good, but the lighting of it and different things is kind of bad um, because this does not have night vision so this won't work in the dark um, but just overall lighting the camera has a hard time um, handling lighting and different things uh, but so that's why it's kind of suggested to keep it in a well-lit area where you get the most the better quality of the video out um, this records um, an AV AVI files, so you can view them on almost any computer um, and different things. One major issue that I have with this camera is when you program it to um, to have its timestamp. Um, how you do that is you actually have to go into the SD card itself. You have to put the SD card in first, turn the camera on, and then take the SD card out and put it into your computer. And then inside that computer has a file that you go in and edit that you change the time in and it's a text file. Um, so you have to do it in Windows um, and you have to change that, um, change the date in it and then insert it back in. It doesn't always work too good. Every time um, I seem to do anything with the SD card or anything, it always resets that file, which I don't understand why it resets that file. Um, it kind of bugs me a little bit having to always change that. So the reliability of that being correct is like one out of a million chance if you can get it configured correctly. Um, and I've played around with it a lot and I still can't figure out how to get it where it keeps the, the file, the, time correctly um, so that is one issue about this camera if you need a time a low reliable timestamp this is definitely not the camera to get um, because it, it's just unreliable with that but just recording random stuff with it or just using it as a security measure it'd be great for that um, because people won't know it would not have a timestamp or the timestamp would be wrong but um, this camera is retailing right now on Amazon for $39.99. It's pretty okay price for this type of camera. Um, Congrove does make a um, 720p version of this camera, so that is also available if you want a better quality camera. Um, so yeah, that's um, my review on the Congrove D. V089 mini um, security camera. Um, overall, like I said, if you need a camera for security measures that you just want just to be safe, then this is definitely the camera to get if you don't mind about the quality or you have it in a well lit area. Um, so there's that. Um, but if you are interested in picking this camera up, I will leave a link down below. Um, and at the very end of the um, video, after um, I um, do my outro, um, there will be um, some samples, some video samples of what the video looks like in it. Um, so I hope you like that. And yeah, so hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, this is in like a fairly lit area with some light. Um, quality gets a little bit better, but not good since this is VGA quality. 
but it still will see people's faces if they get close enough or you can see the figure of if it's someone so yeah hope this get this helped you guys on deciding to pick this camera up or not hello guys this is what the quality is kinda when it's a little bit dark with not good lighting um, this is what the quality really kinda looks like um, so yeah this is not as good as quality I think you guys were hoping for.